This dish is for Oddball76. He says he likes peas and carrots. Welcome to Kiwis to Pistachio. Alright, I'm using a cast iron pan. The advantage of this is it introduces you a little bit of iron that our body needs. I don't take vitamins at all. This is how I get my iron. A regular normal, well greased cast iron pan. Another thing that will be needed is a two quart pan. I'm going to be cooking the Angel Air Organic Pasta. What's special about this? I'm not cooking 16 ounces. I'm going to cook the package in half. It's a wheat product. The direction ingredients are 100% organic durum semolina. Contains wheat ingredients. Durum wheat is a, is a wheat. So, got it for a good deal, 60 cents. Cooking directions. Boil water, four quarts if you cook the entire package. Add salt to taste. Add pasta. Wait to reboil. Stir frequently. Cook until al dente. It takes about four to five minutes. That's what we're aiming for. Once it's cooked, we're going to drain it. We're going to stick it in the frying pan. There'll be a cast iron, angel air, peas and carrot pasta. Should be very different. So I filled up this with filtered water. I get the flames on high so the water can boil rapidly. So next I'm going to open up the angel air box and I'm going to try to separate it in half. Now I didn't use any scientific method, but you can see it's about half the box. Looks like this. Now normally you should cook the pasta in a much larger container. I'm going to try this two quart saucepan. I'm also going to introduce some pink Himalayan sea salt, my favorite salt. This does not have iodine in it. So if you need iodine, use normal salt. Don't need much, maybe a quarter teaspoon. That's a little bit more than a quarter. You don't salt your pasta, it tastes kind of bland. The water all prepared. So the water is just starting to boil. You can start to see the bubbles form in the saucepan. I'm going to set this timer for five minutes. This is the angel air pasta and I'm going to put it inside as it softens into the saucepan. Now normally you would cook this in a large pot. Which I'm going to let it be a few minutes and we'll be back. So what I've done is I've cut up some portobello mushroom to a nice thick slices. We're cooking four ounces of angel air pasta. That's about seven grams of protein. So that's 14 grams. That's almost a 20 gram requirement for this meal. We're also going to add Prego traditional Italian sauce. We're going to have add to it some carrots and some peas and peas at five grams of protein. So this is can be a, a protein dense dinner that you can enjoy or during football season or soccer season whatever you like that you can share with your friends or have with your family. The next part is to drain it. I have this blue strainer. You just pour your angel pasta in it. Now, you don't want to stir it too much because your angel pasta will come out the bottom. See like this one is? See the air is coming out? So just carefully leave it there. If you're worried, use a metal screen and transfer it to the metal screen. We're going to be transferring this to the cast iron pan next. So from here what you're doing is you're going to take the angel air pasta that you've already cooked and you're going to just lay it inside. And you're going to just try to make it. That's quite a bit here. You probably could have gone away with two ounces. And what you're doing is you're going to build up the walls a little bit. And you're going to turn on the, the stove to low for right now. The next part of you is to get the foundation. So you're going to use the Prego Italian sauce and you're going to just lay it on top. Take a spoon, a really large one, and spread the sauce on the top. Once that's done, you're going to put the main foundation, which is going to be peas. These come from our lo lo local grocery store. They're Stater Brothers frozen peas. Peas, you're going to sprinkle them over the top. Now, just spread it out. Take some more of your sauce, put it over the top. Take your large spoon and you just mesh it in there. It's going to go in the oven. Now this is a carrot and pea. You're going to put all the carrots in the center and you're going to put around it the mushrooms. And these are a combination of red bell pepper and uh, carrots. So you're using these portobello mushrooms all the way around the edges. So you... And what you're doing is you're basically making like a moon. Just put another small layer of Italian sauce over the top of the mushrooms. You'll be using your spoon to push them in. And once that's done, you're just going to put your spoon over the top. It's going to help keep it in place. Mushrooms are going to practically disappear. There's a lot of seasoning that you could add to this. You could add Italian dressing. What I do is I use paste chunky salsa. But you could use anything. So I'm just going to put some down the middle. A little bit on the sides. 
and now it's all ready to be placed in the oven. So now the oven has reached 350 degrees. We've got an oven mitt with the entire frying pan, the cast iron pan, in the oven. Make sure that if you use a frying pan, that it's oven proof. Don't just stick a frying pan in there thinking it's gonna, you have to have, make sure it doesn't have any rubber on it, or if it's a rubber type, make sure that it can go in the oven. Okay, so we're gonna set the timer for 30 minutes. That should congeal everything, and after that we should be able to cut it up. So now what I'm doing is I'm pulling it out of the oven. It's been half an hour, turning off the um, timer. So what has happened is that everything on top has got a really nice brownish red coloring. And what we're going to do next is we're going to open it up but it'll have that nice foundation of the spaghetti, the angel L pasta on the bottom and everything on top. Now the hope is that it stays in one piece but even if it doesn't it's going to be really really delicious. So I'm going to cut it like a, I would a pizza but I don't really think it's going to happen that way. Okay so we're going to cut it like this. the knife to kind of keep it in place. We get the very tip over here and it's falling upon on itself. So it's got that base of the angel el pasta on it. It's got all those delicious flavorings on the top. Let's see how it tastes. We're going to grab some peas with a little bit of the angel el pasta. But it has a very nice flavor. I think this would work. You have plenty of carbohydrates, your starches, you have your vegetables, your peas, your mushrooms, and your carrots. You have plenty of protein on this plate, and you have a lot here left over that you can package, make lots of meals for the entire week. And I'm going to freeze all this, and I'm going to have plenty of food for the following week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope, Oddball, that you enjoyed this recipe, and I'll come up with some more peas and carrot recipes in the near future. Now before you can put in the yeast bags for storage, you have to let this cool. It's way too hot right now, it just came out of the oven. But this is fine if you're going to freeze it for you're going to eat it within one to five days. You don't want to leave it in there for like a month because then the pasta doesn't freeze well. So we have a lot of other ingredients in there that you can rehydrate it and bring it back to life. Hi, this is Gary. Click the circle on my face to subscribe or click the upper box on your right side of your screen to check my expanded playlist. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Brrr.